The substitution model can be applied to either status points or measured value. Uh, the idea behind the substitution model is that you want to be able to, in the in the the client needs to be able to substitute a value so that the process logic in the server is using something other than its actual measured value. Uh, this model can be applied to you know a, a number of places within the object model. Um, it also is reflected when you do a substitution. It's reflected in both the value and the quality that's available, the, the quality flags. Um, you can specify a value and then substitute or unsubstitute, which means switching between the live process value and the substituted value. Basically, the servers can include a substitution model wherever they want. So you specify at the server which value, which data objects within its object model can can have the substitution operation performed on them or not. 61850 includes the concept of a settings group. Uh, this model is allows a set of parameters to be switched all together. So there'll be a, a settings group, which is a, a group of parameters. Uh, within the server, there'll be multiple copies of each parameter. Exactly one copy of each is active at a time, and one copy is editable. And the client can then have an active group running, modify the settings in the within a, the editable group, and then later on make that edit group become active. The, this model is meant for things like relays where you really have to set a group of parameters simultaneously. That that they you can't set them individually. You need to set them as a bank or as a group uh, for the for the process logic to operate correctly. This icon view of the settings group model uh, sort of shows how this process works. There's a, a control, basically, that you can do a get or set on the active group control that switches the process logic from one bank of values to another. At any given point in time, you can also set the edit group, which switches for which group is available for editing, and then you can do get and set requests on the editable group to um, to modify the values for the next time so that next time you make it active it's got a new bank of values typically you'd have some group of set some some multiple settings groups and you'd be switching between them uh, as needed these icons that we're using will come up in the rest of the the presentation the uh, the arrows on the left show the requests and responses the uh, little squares and triangles and circles represent data objects.